The whole mural project is about solutions to police brutality, systemic racism, and gun violence. The orange that we use is an international color for gun violence awareness. That's why we start all the murals in orange. And I lost 45 of my friends, all my best friends growing up. You know, we start every mural in orange. You know, and that's the basis of the murals and a lot of the messages that we're teaching. messages to the to the neighborhood we are here to help paint this mural to start a change and yeah I just think it's a nice way to help create an environment that is more inclusive and hopes for change I care very deeply about uh, uh, equality and everything and I think that this is a good way to help spread awareness and speak our truth and I feel like this is just an incredible thing we're doing our part to uplift love over hate spreading awareness through art I think is a really wonderful thing so we're um, collaborating at Carl University with both the Criminology Department and the Masters of Arts and Psychology. And we're trying to help promote, um, we have restorative justice elements to our program, and so we feel this is a perfect example of community action uh, for our students to engage in. Tell stories through paint. Have something like a mural that showcases. Connecting over a mutual cause. A sense of pride, love. I brought my little ones out here. It's important to teach them from a very young age. Um, I came out today just to uh, help and do my part um, for the community. We're all in this together. I know that sounds kind of trite right now. It's kind of been overplayed, but it's true. We're all connected and we need to remember that. I wanted to come and do and show my support for Black Lives Matter, police brutality, justice, and just hope for the world because it's been really crazy. Because our world is really messed up right now. This project means a lot to me because it's bringing people together of different cultures, races, because we're all equal, we're all the same. I've just been extremely grateful of this learning process. I've always walked past murals and wanted to be a part of something like that and actually do it. It's literally a dream come true. Here's a bunch of positivity right here, and let's keep it going. Peace. I'm pointing right now to one of my personal heroes, John Lewis. This will be up for years to come, hopefully never removed. We need heroes in our lives. He was one of mine. And he was one of the heroes of millions of people across this country. We need heroes, but we need sheroes, and we need those who on a daily basis make a commitment to make a difference in the lives of their families, their communities, and their nation. This is where we are. This is where we need to be. As a guy who's been, who's been an activist for over 50 years now, I've been truly proud of the young people, teenagers and young adults who've taken the leadership, responding to the deaths of black people in this country at the hands of police. The George, the George Floyd murder on May 25th, 2020, it brought about a new level of knowledge on the part of millions of people in this country. What I was proud to see as an African American was to see so many of these marches and protests across this country and locally, many of which I was involved in myself. To see in many cases there were more white people than blacks saying that this injustice must stop. This injustice has been with us since black people came to this country in 1619, must stop. Eyes were opened because of the death of George Floyd being a current day lynching. It became clear what black folks have protested for decades and centuries. And I am proud that our young people are taking leadership and saying this injustice must end and it must end now. Our passion must never end.
。